Beneath the surface of the earth, deeper than some mountains are tall, lie the world's deepest gold mines, where men and machines descend for kilometers underground to chase treasure. The journey begins in darkness, miners, their faces etched with determination, tack themselves into a cage-like elevator. The door slams shut with a metallic clang, in an instant, they're plummeting into the abyss. These high-speed elevators, aptly named cages, hurtle downward at a breakneck 60 kilometers per hour. The walls of the shaft blur past as the miners plunge deeper and deeper, leaving the world above far behind. As they descend, the temperature rises dramatically. The rock itself radiates heat, pushing thermometers to a scorching 60 degrees Celsius. It's a hellish environment where even breathing becomes a challenge, but human ingenuity fights back. Massive cooling systems roar to life, pumping a constant stream of chilled air through the maze-like network of tunnels. It is not just for comfort, it is the difference between life and death in these extreme depths. The elevator screeches to a halt, and the miners step out into a world few will ever see. Dimly lit tunnels stretch for hundreds of kilometers in every direction, a subterranean labyrinth carved by decades of human perseverance. The air is thick and heavy, laden with dust and the ever-present scent of earth and machinery. Drilling machines spring to life with a deafening roar. Their massive bits bore relentlessly into the rock face, searching for those elusive veins of gold-bearing ore. Sparks fly as metal meets stone, and the very ground seems to tremble with the force of their efforts. Miners in bright safety helmets move with practiced efficiency, guiding the machines and reading the rock like an ancient text. But drilling is just the beginning, the real show starts with a bang. Literally. Carefully placed explosives shatter the rock face in a controlled blast. The tunnel fills with dust and flying debris, stuns of or are liberated from their ancient resting place. As the dust settles, an army of loaders rumbles into action. These mechanical beasts scoop up the broken rock, their engines straining under the weight. Conveyor belts hum to life, stretching for kilometers through the winding tunnels. They carry a constant stream of or ports the surface, each piece potentially holding flecks of the precious metal that drives this entire operation. It's a non-stop process, running day and night, as the mine's hunger for gold is never satisfied. Yet for all the impressive machinery, mining at these depths is a constant battle against nature itself. The very earth seems to resist the intrusion, fighting back with deadly force. Seismic waves ripple through the rock, threatening to collapse tunnels in an instant. Rock bursts, explosive releases of built-up pressure, can turn solid walls into deadly projectiles without warning. Engineers work tirelessly to stay one step ahead of disaster. Massive rock bolts, each as thick as a man's arm, reinforce tunnel walls. They're not just supports, they're the thin line between safety and catastrophe. Seismic monitoring equipment, more sensitive than anything used on the surface, keeps a constant vigil for the slightest tremor that could spell danger. Water, an ever-present enemy, seeps through cracks and fissures, threatening to flood entire sections of the mine. Industrial pumps work non-stop, their rhythmic chugging a constant backdrop to the miner's labor. They're locked in an endless battle, pushing millions of liters back to the surface every day. But all this effort, all this danger, is in pursuit of one goal, gold. As the ore finally reaches the surface, it begins a new journey of transformation. Massive mills grind the rock into a fine powder, their thunderous roar echoing across the mine complex. The ground ore is then mixed with a cocktail of chemicals, each carefully chosen to separate the precious metal from its stony prison. In vast tanks, the mixture churns and bubbles. Slowly, almost magically, tiny particles of gold begin to emerge. They're collected, refined, and finally melted down in blazing furnaces. The intense heat turns solid rock into rivers of molten metal. As it cools and solidifies, the gold takes on its familiar, lustrous form, bars of pure treasure, each one representing countless hours of labor and danger deep below the earth. The contrast is stark, from the oppressive darkness of the mine to the brilliant shine of freshly cast gold bars. From the deafening roar of machinery to the hushed awe as the final product is revealed. It's a journey that spans not just kilometers of rock, but the very limits of human endurance and ingenuity. As day turns to night, the cycle continues unabated. Miners emerge from the depths, their shifts complete, while others prepare to take their place. The glow of the mine s lights creates an island of activity in the vast darkness of the South African landscape. In cities around the world, 
Skyline shimmer with lights, many powered by the gold that traces its origins to these very mines. The world's deepest gold mines are more than just holes in the ground. They are extreme frontiers where human determination collides with the raw power of geology. Every ounce of gold extracted is a testament to the incredible risks taken and the engineering marvels created, all to satisfy our endless fascination with this precious metal. From the moment that elevator plunges into darkness to the final pour of molten gold, it's a story of human ambition pushed to its very limits. These mines stand as monuments to what we're willing to endure in our quest for treasure, pushing ever deeper into the Earth's crust, defying nature itself in pursuit of that golden gleam. As the sun rises on another day, the cages descend once more. Miners vanish into the earth, ready to face the heat, the pressure, and the darkness. Above ground, the world turns, largely unaware of the epic struggle unfolding beneath their feet. But in these deepest of mines, the hunt for gold continues, a timeless dance between human ingenuity and the earth's hidden riches.